And we're back. I'm John Kuzma from endzoneblog.com, and I want to talk about Jared Goff's new four year, $134 million contract. So, $110 million of this deal is guaranteed, which is actually a record. And it's easy to see why the Los Angeles Rams retained Jared Goff. You know, Sean McFay has this high flying offense, and over the past two years, Jared Goff has mastered it. You know, they actually went to a Super Bowl last year. So it's pretty easy to see that Goff is this team's best chance at winning a Vince Lombardi trophy. You know, they didn't want to bank on bringing a free agent in or drafting another QB down the line because there's too much uncertainty there. Instead, it's just better to keep the guy that has already, you know, elevated this franchise as much as they have at up to this point and I think you know keeping him there and signing him to this new extension is about one thing and one thing only it's about continuity it's about keeping as much of the old team together as they possibly can and then adjusting some of the role players uh, to you know fit this team moving forward you know, we've seen other teams in other sports, the Golden State Warriors, for example, they keep their core intact with Steph, Clay, and Dre, and then they add role players around it. Uh, the Rams are trying to do the same thing, and they need Sean McVay, they need Jared Goff, and then everything else they can kind of move around. There's some players there like Woods and Cooper Cup and Cooks who need to stay. But, you know, some of the other players, they can kind of tweak and, you know, ship someone out and bring someone in and keep the, the whole thing together. So um, get, getting Jared Goff's deal done was about making sure that they just hold everything together and they try to make do with what they have. I think this team is a little bit worse than a year ago, but keeping Goff was the right move because at least... They're still going to be able to put up a lot of points. At least they're still going to have that advantage on offense. That's kind of been the identity of their team. I guess there's no kind of about it. It has been the identity and the backbone of their team. And now they're just going to, you know, like tweak the pieces around it to see if they can get this roster right and maybe, you know, defy expectations a little bit and possibly go back to the Super Bowl. Me personally, I think they're taking a little bit a little bit of a step back because Nadamik and Sue is so tough to replace. But you never know. We'll see how it all plays out. We do know one thing. Jared Goff got paid a ton of money, and uh, it's a good night to be Jared Goff. I'm John Kuzma. Check out endzoneblog.com.